Hello everybody, it's great to be here to celebrate the Ulster Scottish Language Week and it's great to be invited by Lisburn and Castlereagh Council. We're going to have a wee bit of soiree this evening to celebrate. We're going to play a wee of tunes, sing a wee of songs and tell you a wee bit about the Ulster Scotch language and the words. We're going to start off with doing a wee tune that we call, a wee song, I suppose it's a song for by a wee tune. We call it Dancing to the Fiddle, and it's all about a wild necked we had, a wild soiree we had at a place called Shell and the Woogie. And it goes something like this, if we mind, you boys mind this? We saw Just about. This is uh, Derek Montgomery here, yeah. and this is James Christie, and I'm Wally Brennan. <laughs> Chippenarian and all, dancing to the fiddle. Up and down and round and round underneath the moon. Up and down and round and round underneath the moon. Up and down and round and round underneath the moon. Dancing to the fiddle. There was Yen for the Glen, where a cat and a can and a bunny hen and a Jenny the Jog and a preacher is flogged. Dancing to the fiddle, and a mouse running loose about the house with a duck and a goose, and Sam the sailor, Tom the tailor, and Don the dealer, dancing to the fiddle. Up and down and round and round underneath the moon, up and down and round and round underneath the moon, up and down and round and round underneath the moon, dancing to the fiddle. This night then he's turned into as well as onion hey, <laughs> Derek, he can you mind being no, there half the time, no, no, But no, you were no. there, I saw you there, you were there, wasn't I? Well see these Ulster Scottish words, they would have come over for Scotland during the seventeenth century when thousands of folk come over here for southern Scotland. And a lot of the words are very similar to English, like uh, if you said you were for run and run dun t the tun. That would just be the same as you're going to have a run around downtown, same thing. Or if you were uh, saying there's a, a bra brack lack to the moon the next, it's just the same as saying there's a, a very bright light off the moon tonight. And then things like, you know, this is your heed instead of your head, and it's your e instead of your eye, or your een, be a merry one me, and it's your mouth instead of your mouth. So those things are all very similar. But then there's words like thole and thran and sleek and crabbit and scunnered and bokin and keekin and jukin and gailin and all kinds of things like that there that have probably nothing to do with the English language. Uh, and then there's a, uh, oh you couldn't, 
you can count well different in Ulster Scotch as well. It's yin, twa, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and there's thirty and forty and fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and a hundred. So the way the Germans and the Dutch folk count, when you say that, huh? mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Now, there was a boy called James Orr, and he was one of the weaver poets, Ulster Scotch weaver poets. And this was way back at the end of the 18th century, end of the beginning of the 19th century. And the Ulster Scotch that was talked then was a wee bit different than even it was in Scotland at the time. And uh, I want to do a, a wee poem here, a, a couple of verses of a poem from James Orr called Te the Pra, which <clears> is just the potato. I didn't know what a potato was though I was about eight years old. It was called a pra. It was the same in your house. It was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, this uh, wee poem goes something like this, if I can mine it. I lage we had fen, get fairly quiet, the weed we smoke and chew the fat, and I only want to hear the water, wealth, ways and tea, but leaves me on the precious pra, our country stay. Brick blooms the bean that scents the valley, and brick the pea that spills the sally, and brick the plum trees, Blossom brawly and blue bout lint, but what we struck raise at rask and tally that some beans tint. Here's a wee tune there, James. <laughs> about the Ballycarry Fair. At that time, at the end of the 18th century, the beginning of the, the 19th century, there was wee village fairs all over the place. And then this big epic poem, he, I, we'll need the fiddle, I will need the fiddle for this, James. Hold on, I grab my fiddle for bye. There's a wee fiddle tune goes with this. In this epic poem called the Ballycarry Fair, James Orr, who was the bard of Ballycarry, by the way, he describes what happens at the fair during the day and then explains what happens at night. Uh, he would explain that folk would uh, retire to the eel house and they would have a few drinks and then the, they would have a bit of crack about what happened during the fair and then they would start singing songs and then fiddlers would appear, start playing fiddle tunes and everybody would go up and let a bit of dancing and then they would start fighting. And then this was back at the end of the 18th century and it's interesting that those cultural Traditions that were very strong then are still just as strong today. Oh, right. uh, so uh, I'll just recite one wee verse from the, the Ballet Carry Fair. Here's, here's that, you know that wee tune that we played? <laughs> Done as he be sleep, and a crab at some set snarling oh. Nest treats all last from that will keep and slap there up in Corlino. Out made and matron hands her dear the builder they's hodding oh. The curtains is clays and blood and beer, the stunny's fleur is laid no. The hearts a mess the clockin' oh, the hearts a mess the clockin' oh. For every hour a hay is spare is past and mirth and lackin' oh.
Hearts of men's the clock and all. Hearts of men's the clock and all. For every year I hate despair is past and mirth and laugh and all. Hearts of men's the clock and all. Hearts of men's the clock and all. For every year I hate despair is past and mirth and laugh and all. So will I. Aye. So that's enough for. Uh, James Orr, but he was a brilliant, a good example of there was probably dozens and dozens of those Ulster Scotch weaver poets in the 19th century. Uh, what they had in days gone by was country fiddlers, that's what they call them. Mm -hmm. Your grander was a country fiddler and um, they played for country dances. And there's a wee poem here, uh, it's called The Country Fiddlers. F, when you're Done or doing the glen or wandering by the lone and then you hear the churl, you're bound to ken, you're near a country fiddler. But you'll not hear man yets and G, nor Beethoven, nor Padereski, nor mournful back to moisture E, for on a country fiddler. But hornpipes and jags and country reels to blink your E and that's your heels, ach, do you not ken what like that feels to be a country fiddler? We term sack music pure humbug, mare like the yulin or a dog. For the most we can, we learnt by lug that we are country fiddlers. up with that wee song called Slow Down. It's all about slowing down on the roads, I suppose, initially, because there are all kinds of gapes tearing around the road there these days. I, nutters just flying around at all kinds of speeds, you know. The number of times I've been near Kelp, it just kind of, I lost count of them, so hey. But it's also about slowing down life. Slowing down life. And uh, you boys mind this. Well, here, you'll, once I start playing it, you'll, 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 you'll mind it. You mind it? I think so. Go something like this. Sorry, 
down there in place. Tiger, way down there, Jim. Way down there. Shower down there, Harry. Way, way 